Welcome to BCH Technologies. Today we're going to show you how to use a chip resetter to make a, the absence ink level back to full. Absence stores the number of pages printed in a computer chip, and the chip is located at the front of the cartridge. If we refill a cartridge, we also need to reset the page number back to zero. Otherwise, the printer will still show low ink and prevent us from printing. A resetter can allow us to change the page number. We can find it at uh, www.bchtechnologies.com and you go to accessories and go to resetters and there's resetter for the cartridge. However, there are a few things to consider first. And uh, the first one is the a resetter only works for certain models. Uh, it's not universal. So for example, uh, this uh, EP2 resetter, and it only works for those models. Okay, and we also list uh, by model number and uh, the printer model. So have to help you choose. And make sure you have the correct model. The second thing is the resetter only works for cartridges that have at least some ink left in the cartridge. Uh, once the ink is depleted, the printer will send a kill signal to the cartridge and the cartridge will be dead. And this one is a, a dead cartridge. You can see uh, there's a big red cross on it. And this cartridge cannot be reset to zero. So is as good as that and you can throw in the garbage and this one has a yellow triangle and that's only a warning and this one should be able to reset let's try to reset that dead cartridge first and for that cartridge you can say you need to replace the cartridge that means it's, it's dead okay now we take the cartridge out and uh, put on a resetter there's a guard to help you to uh, set where the, uh, to help you to line up the pins with a, with a chip. And the green one means it's reset, but it doesn't mean it's gonna work. Okay, it just reset to zero, but that cartridge has a signal that uh, it says dead. So you close it. Okay, there you go. They tell you you need to replace, and uh, that's it. Now we work on uh, one that only has low ink, and you can see uh, the yellow triangle here. Uh, look good. And don't forget to always use the replacement replace cartridge function on the printer to take your cartridge out. Okay, now we put it on the resetter. And now it's reset to zero. And we put it back. Close the door. And wait. Okay, we got our first screen. And uh, although you're using the absent uh, a cartridge after you reset it and absent it is not happy about it uh, for you to reset it so it try to scare you okay first thing they show you is you have not installed genuine absent in cartridges and uh, I guess they're pretty angry about this and the second screen we're detecting you are trying to save money and the quality of uh, reliability of uh, non-genuine ink cannot be guaranteed, blah, blah, blah. Please send us more money. And OK. And continue to use this ink. Yes. And check out that yellow bar. That's how much money you save. If you have a refillable cartridge, uh, which have ERC chips, 
and this resetter doesn't work on it. See uh, the sign here? We try to re uh, reset it. And this sign is a, re is a refillable cartridge, has ARC chips on it. The resetter doesn't work on ARC chips. They on the resetter only works on one time use chips, which is the original Epson or one time use a third party chip. So we take the sign out and uh, reset it. And uh, we put it back. The reason it doesn't work is the ARC, ARC chips has a different uh, reset mechanism. It actually is waiting for the Q signal from the printer to reset its chips. So when you do not have a Q signal, it doesn't do anything. And here, when it's back online, you're going to see the sign is at the same level. See, there is, it's not full. Let me show you it works on a third party one time use cartridge. And this definitely not absent. And you can see the yellow is not full, it's about uh, uh, three fourths full. And now we use the replace cartridge function to take the cartridge out. Remember, always use this function. No, don't move. Uh, always use this function to take cartridge out. OK, and put it on. OK, third party cartridge somehow is um, pretty hard to line up. And you have to see where the pin is. There we go. I think that probably because the the breast point contact points are so fat. And I hope you enjoyed this video and visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com and uh, here it is. Over happy, please send absent more money screen.